Uh, so Manchester, of, of course, is a city with an amazing past. It was the city at the heart of the Industrial Revolution, and it was a city like so many industrial cities that encountered relatively difficult times during the 1960s and 1970s. Tell us what Manchester was like when you started in city government in the 1970s. Uh, Manchester probably at that stage was a, a textbook analysis of how not to adapt your economy to the growing trend of globalisation. Uh, so my predecessors uh, witnessed uh, sectors uh, like manufacturing, production, effectively be repatriated to other parts of the world, notably uh, the Far East, mm -hmm. which effectively left Manchester a legacy of industrial dereliction on a very significant scale, and in a sense a very, very narrowly focused uh, economic base. Um, and it took us a long, long time to recover from that. So you grew up here in Manchester, uh, or around, yes. around here. Can you tell us what it was like in, in the 70s? In I grew up in a mill town in Lancashire, about uh, 15 or 20 miles north of the city centre. And when I, in my childhood, everybody worked in the mills, mm -hmm. from um, the dyeing and the weaving and the spinning to some uh, textiles uh, uh, finishing and, and, and so on. And all my family, my aunties and uncles and my parents worked in those mills. And until the 19, late 1970s, that was just what you did in my town. And then they started closing one by one. So the last bit of my time growing up as a teenager was a period of Great Depression in the area. And this was true all the way across the region that all of those textiles mills were closing down. And this was because there was an increase in the exchange rate because of North Sea oil and a big recession in the UK economy. Unemployment was going up uh, substantially, and it was the time when Mrs Thatcher's government had taken power and decided not to try to offset any of the effects of that recession. So the mills closed, the unemployment rate was very high, the buildings were dirty, it was very polluted in the 1970s. So the whole sense you had of the place was um, depressed, grimy, downtrodden people, not much money, incredibly uh, sombre times. And that was the time when we saw the beginnings of the very embedded problems of urban poverty mm -hmm. that we have now. Because then you got uh, prime age adults who lost their jobs, they didn't have any transferable skills, they stayed unemployed for the rest of their career, there was no money in the community, no other jobs being created, there was no extra money going into the schools to compensate for what was happening, so their children stayed unemployed as well. And then you get that cluster of problems of bad housing, low skills, no jobs available, lack of motivation, and other problems that follow on the heels of those, like drugs and crime in those kinds of areas. And it got embedded then, I think. What was the political response? How did local leaders think that they were going to handle this? For a long time, the UK has been a very centralised country, and the amount of power in the hands of local leaders was absolutely minimal. All the decisions about could uh, uh, there be any increases in spending to offset the effects of recession, uh, could there be any particular training schemes to help people uh, uh, reskill themselves for new kinds of jobs, those were all centrally taken. And I think across the country that response was completely inadequate. What did they think were the right policy responses to this deindustrialization? Well, I think at the time, the policy responses were, were pretty traditional, pretty orthodox. Um, should we try and address the question of incentives to keep businesses mm -hmm. there, uh, which wouldn't have worked um, because there was almost no way you could compete uh, with the cost of labour and the cost of production in other parts of the world. But what we didn't do at that time uh, at all effectively, in my view, is, is really start to address, well, how do you diversify mm -hmm. uh, our economic base? How do you create new opportunities for businesses to see a place like Manchester uh, as attractive to live, to invest uh, and to visit? Uh, and that really became um, the, the response of my generation.